Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over a problem involving static equilibrium, and this is the lever, the teeter-totter, the seesaw, the balance problem, and this is what we want to know. We have this mass, 65 grams. It's hanging 10, 20, 30, 40, 55 centimeters away from the pivot point. We have this mass, number two. It's hanging 10, 20, 30 centimeters away from the pivot point and we want to know where are we going to place m3 so that this beam will be in static equilibrium will be balanced in a sense now these forces are not going to produce any translational motion they're only going to produce rotational motion so all we have to do is be concerned with the torque produced by each mass and therefore all we have to do is sum up the torques we don't have to sum up forces in the x direction or the forces in the y direction. Now, we're just going to figure out where does this mass go so that they will all be balanced. Okay, we're gonna sum up the torques, the torque produced by each of those objects, and we're gonna write that down like this. T1, the torque part produced by mass one, plus torque two, minus the torque produced by mass number three. The torque produced by mass number one and number two are positive because these two objects will cause this balance to rotate in the counterclockwise direction. Forces that cause objects to rotate in the counterclockwise direction produce positive torque. Positive T1, positive T2, minus T3, because that's gonna go over here. That's gonna cause this object to rotate in the counterclockwise direction, and therefore it would produce negative torque and therefore we have negative T3. Now I'm going to rearrange this equation so it looks like T1 plus T2 equals T3. The sum of the torque produced by T1 and T2 are going to be equal to the torque produced by T3 in order for this beam to be balanced. Now we're going to use the torque equation. The torque equation is simply RF sine theta. R is the distance away from the pivot point. F is the force and theta is the angle between R and the force, they're all 90 degrees, so the sine of theta is going to be one. So we can rearrange this equation and just say that it's F times the distance, the force times the lever arm, the force is mg, and the distance is d. We're given the mass. In order to find the force, we're gonna multiply the mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So I'm going to plug this equation, mgd, and substitute it in for each of these torques. So you'll see we'll get M1GD and its distance, M2 times G times its distance away from the axis of rotation. This point is obviously the axis of rotation, and that's equal to the torque produced by three. Now what we really wanna know is where are we gonna place three? Mass number three. So we're gonna solve for this distance. We know M1 and D and G, M2, G, D, M3, G, we don't know this distance, so I'm gonna call that distance number three. Now you'll notice all of these equations, all of these terms have G in it. Now you could leave it in and write down 9.8 <clears throat> three times, or you'll notice we can just cancel them out and we can solve for the distance number three, the location for mass number three, and that is going to be equal to the mass times the distance for mass number one, plus the values for number two, and then we would simply divide by the mass of number three. You plug those values in. These are the values, the mass and the distance for number one, the mass and the distance for number two. You'll notice we converted for metric units the distances into meters, divide by the mass of number three in grams, and you get that the location for mass number three is 0 0.45 meters. If we place mass number three 0 0.45 meters away from the pivot point right there, then that beam will be in static equilibrium. It will balance. It will not rotate. There will be no rotational acceleration. Okay, there you go. That's torque and the balance beam. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, you can do one or all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video and give me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching.